Hey there, Seminole baseball fans. Welcome back to this week's edition of K-Time. I'm Scott Kodak here inside Dick Hauser Stadium. Seminoles have looked really, really good over the past five games. They have won all five in a row against Virginia and Stetson. Have looked mighty impressive, 19-2 and two on the season. They're going to leave the friendly confines here at Dick Hauser Stadium, head up to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, against a very, very good Wake Forest Demon Deacon baseball team. We'll get right to your top three storylines this weekend. The first is Wake Forest at home. They've been really good. They're 15-1 and one in 16 total games at home. The road has been a little bit different for them, but at home, this team is one to be reckoned with. And the first thing that stands out in my mind, they've got their Sunday starter named Brian Holmes, who has been outstanding this year thus far. He's got a 1.44 ERA. He's 4-0 in the season. And I know some of you baseball fans out there are wondering, well, why is their best pitcher starting on Sunday? Well, it's just kind of a coincidence. He's been the best guy, but Wake Forest has been known to do that. They don't necessarily throw their what's called their best guy on Fridays. They might save them for another game in the weekend to make sure that they can at least get one win. Another couple stats to look at. They have 38 total stolen bases on the season. That's first in the ACC, meaning they swipe a lot of bases. So, of course, Stephen McGee is going to have to be at his very best yet again. They do have the league leader in RBI, and Carlos Lopez, 32 RBI in the season, is tied for third in home runs with six also on the season. So, Wake Forest, very good team. The Seminoles are going to have to look out for It's not going to be a cakewalk. The Seminoles are six 6-0 in the ACC. They swept two straight series. Wake Forest is a solid baseball team. The Seminoles are going to have to look out for. My second storyline is Seth Miller. This guy has been getting the cover off the ball right now. He has increased his batting average to 320 from up from 260 last week. He's got two grand slams on the season. Coincidentally, two home runs and two grand slams. He's third on the team in RBI in 19. But more importantly in my mind, he's been a productive bat at the bottom of the order. I know in some of the past episodes of K-Town we talked about how important it is for guys to be productive at the bottom of the order. Gonzalez, Brizuela, Miller, Nagowski, whoever is hitting down there. Seth Miller has been very good in the 8 or 9 spot, giving it up to Sherman Johnson, Devin Travis, and so on and so forth. So if the Noles get some wins, Seth Miller is going to have to keep swinging that hot bat. We know what a great outfielder he is defensively, but at the plate, he has been spectacular. And my final third storyline is Wake Forest Friday starter Tim Cooney. Last year, Seminole fans will remember, he came in here and threw a gem against the Knolls inside Dick Hauser Stadium. Threw seven and two-thirds innings, 11 strikeouts, gave up just five hits, and shut out the Knolls. They lost eight to nothing on Saturday. They're going to get another shot at Mr. Cooney this weekend. He hasn't been as dominant thus far. He is 3-2 and two with an over-3 ERA, but Seminoles are going to have to look out. This guy can throw lights out. He is a lefty, just as the Sunday starter, Brian Holmes, is a lefty as well. Big series coming up this weekend. Of course, stay with Seminoles.com for all the information as it becomes available. Remember, I want to hear from you, Seminole fans. Follow me on Twitter, at Scott Kodak, and you see it right there. Email me at skodak at fsu.edu. I want to hear from you. What are your best thoughts about the season so far? Where where do you think the Seminoles are headed? Well, the one thing we know right now, they're 19-2. and two. They have been playing outstanding defensive, offensive baseball, and have been pitching lights out. Look for those three uh, the weekend starters to be great this weekend for the Florida State Seminoles. We'll see you back here next week on K-Time, Seminole fans. Go Noles!